today I had a inkling to build an electric motor just to see about the electric fields and what have you and this is what came out it was it was uh, it was kind of hard uh, originally I had it working with a 1.5 volt cell but building the post with a copper tubing and a washer on both sides and uh, and running the, the wires what have you it um it, it presented quite a task to get to run uh, the main the main thing is the contacts they have to have good contacts on the end I'm using six volts through a switch and uh, I also add an additional little magnet here that's not just not on there and it, and it helps it well there it is it helps it a little bit better but that's just a coil of wire making a magnetic field with the current passing through the wires and a uh, and, uh, and a and a magnet apparently unless they get tired and it doesn't continue very long but uh, I think a little adjustment it might uh, it must stay running longer so we think so we hope This is the contact problem. If you push it all the way to the end, it'll run. As it wiggles, as it wiggles its way back, it likes to stop. So I'm gonna have to clean those contacts. I had a great time. I think I'll just adjust it and uh, leave it around too. It's a conversation piece for to play with once in a while. Or when when you're reading about magnetism. And you can actually see how it makes the poles. The negative sends a circular magnetic field around the wires that makes the top a north pole, the bottom a south pole. And they repel each other with the pole of the magnet on the bottom. Bye now.